to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Are you wondering how did I keep this water in the cup when I turned it over? Well, today we are talking about matter and we want to find out today, is air matter? Have you ever thought about that? Is air matter? Matter is anything that has volume, which means take up space, that has mass, which means it has weight. Air surrounds us everywhere. It is invisible. It surrounds our earth. It's surrounding me right now. It's surrounding you right now. But is it matter? Well, we're going to do a couple of tests today to determine if air is matter. And we'll come back and talk about why we were able to keep this card on when I turned the cup of water over. Matter comes in three states. Solid. When it is a solid, the molecules are fit tightly together, meaning they are compact. And so that object is solid, like this book. It is real solid. The molecules are compacted together and they're not moving, they're just bumping up against each other. The next state of matter is liquid. Liquid is a fluid. And when you have liquid, the molecules begin to rub against each other loosely. They're not fitted tightly together as they were before. So they fit it loosely. And then we have the state of gas. Gas, you can see when uh, water evaporates or when you're boiling water. Well, when the molecules move for a gas, they're not tight, they're not loose, they're actually dispersing. They're moving all over the place. There's no control and it's almost like you can't even see it because they're moving so fast. All right, so back to our question, is air matter? activity, we're going to take two balloons to test to see if air takes up space and if air has weight. Now, we already see that I have two balloons blown up. That tells us that air does take up space. Air takes up space of its container. So whatever shape your container is, that is going to be the shape of the air, like in my office. Remember, air surrounds us everywhere. So, part one, it does take up space. Now, we put our two balloons on the string. I did put a piece of tape on each string so they'll stay on. And I put a string in the middle to balance it. Now we want to test to see if it has weight. If it has weight, and I pop one of the balloons, the ruler should go down on one side. Let's see. Alright, notice how the ruler looks now. It's leaning to one side. So, is air matter? According to this experiment, it is. All right, let's do another experiment. We want to see if air has weight. We're going to take two books and see if we can lift them off the table using air. For this part of this experiment, we're going to need a Ziploc bag and a bendable straw and a stack of books. You can put more books than this if you'd like. We're going to place the Ziploc bag and the straw under the books. Now I'm going to blow air in to see if we can lift the books up.
Did you see that? Let's do it again. The air lifted the books off of the bag. So, that is another example of weight. So, it also was an example of filling the bag and air taking the shape of the bag. Is air matter? Yes. It takes up space and it has mass or it has weight. So, back to the beginning. I have a cup of water. I have a cardboard. I'm going to turn it over and let it go. What is causing the card to stay on? Air pressure. Pressure from the air pressing in on the card is keeping it on. And even though the push of the water is there and then there's gravity, air pressure is more powerful and pushing back on this card to keep it on top of the cup. When we think of air and we think of air pressure, we think of filling a tire. When a tire is flat, a tire, you fill it up with air, guess what? It lifts the car off the ground or if you put it in the on uh, in the tires of a bike it lifts the bike off the ground and you're able to ride notice what is keeping you up and all that weight air air inside of a container so we have answered our question air is matter and it does matter that air is matter. Thanks, guys, for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.